Hello, welcome back to my guitar tutorial video. My name is Chris. Today we're going to learn how to play the guitar solo of Moratorium by Bandmaid. Hi, I'm Chris. Today we're going to play the guitar solo of Moratorium. Alright, so just a reminder, we're in drop C sharp. We got C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp. Alright, key of C sharp minor. And a tempo BPM 135. So I separated this guitar solo into four different sections. So I recommend practicing them one section at a time and try not to learn the whole solo all at once. And all you have to do is practice consistently, practice slowly. Alright, let's get started. Okay. This is part one. Let me play it slowly. All right, so let's start with the first part here. Very first uh, bend here, G12. And then also play the B13. The bend is uh, like three quarters to a hole. Okay, and then when you bend the B13, 13 only, use your pinky. Yeah. So. Okay, and then you go. So this part's easy. You do the pull off here on the B13 tone. But here, be careful when you get to the G string here. Yeah, so what you want to do is pick G12 twice. So pick, pick, bend, release, pull off to 10, and then pick G12, and then bend, and then vibrato. Okay, so that part is uh, very important actually, and it's a little bit more intricate, so be careful with that. So I'll play that again. So, all right. So if you got that down, basically, then let's move on to the next part. All right, part two. So let me start out by playing it slowly. Okay, so this part has a lot more notes, it has a bunch of pull-offs, and it's also in a different scale. It's not in the uh, pentatonic scale anymore, really. It's uh, it's more like a mixolydian scale. So, mixolydian sounds something like this. So, you know, I thought it was uh, worth mentioning because uh, it's a great way to spice up your guitar souls if you uh, play other scales besides the pentatonic scale. So, yeah, uh, give it a try, give it a whirl, uh, you know, check it out if you haven't already. Okay, so let's start with the first note, uh, B13. Make sure you use your ring finger though. Uh, save your pinky for the E14 later. え、最初は薬指ですね。B の13フレット薬指から使いましょう。Okay。So when we get to the 13 12 10 on the B string, uh I'm doing ring middle index on the left hand. Here. And then I'll do the same thing on the G string 13 12 10 on the G string. Here. Ring, middle, index. So it has a kind of a similar pattern, right? Here's a little different. Like a chromatic thing. So on the last note, uh, on the D9, I slide to the D9, but I'll also pick it. 
you know, lightly though. You don't have to go too strongly on that. Okay, so yeah, so there's a pattern to the left hand, so make sure you learn that first. I would say concentrate on that first. And then once you get comfortable there, uh, let's work on the right hand. So the right hand, uh, let me tell you what I'm doing here. B13 down, and E10 down, and then up, up, down, up, down, up, up. it one more time so starting on down down right down down up up down up down up up down up down up up down up down Cool, so once you get that pattern on the right hand, also try to add a tiny bit of accent to some of those notes, uh, particularly on the downbeat. So here, here, here. So if you play it with no accent, sounds kind of boring, you know, so. But you don't have to overdo it like I'm doing it right now. I just want to show you where the accents are. So if you add a little accent, it's going to sound really nice, all right? So once you get that down, let's do the next part. All right, part three. So let me play that slowly first. Okay, I'm gonna play that a little bit faster. Alright, so a lot of sliding. It's kind of, um, they're kind of like chords really, um, in perfect fourths. And this is actually also in different scale. Uh, it's not in the pentatonic scale, it's not in the mixolydian scale, but it's more like a Phrygian scale. You know, it's kind of like a Spanishy kind of sound. Cool. So yeah, so we start out with pentatonics, and then we go to mixolydian. Now we're at fusion. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So I thought it'd be nice to mention also. Uh, what an interesting guitar solo. Okay, anyways, yeah, let's start with the first note. We're going to slide to G12. So the left hand, you can kind of keep this shape like this. Slide 14. Alright. Okay, so you like that. And then once you hit this note here, the, the E17. kind of do a little tiny slide down so you could go back to the 12th position and play the B13 and then G12 so okay once you hit the G12 again slide no pick to the 17 So this one here, it's like that. So the left hand is basically just doing this. So. Yeah, so it makes it more interesting with the right hand thing going, you know, going like that. All right, so it's not too hard actually. Just the rhythm is a little bit tricky, so just be careful not to get lost in there. 
and yeah again practice it very slowly consistently okay let me play that one more time very slowly and then a little bit faster a little bit faster all right cool so that was part three let's do the last section Okay, we're at the last section of the solo, so let me play it slowly first. Okay, a little bit faster. Okay, so this this part, the scale is now, it's more like a pentatonic scale. Uh, not a pentatonic scale, it's more like a minor scale, like a regular minor scale. So technically, we, we played four different scales in one solo. Pretty cool, nice. So anyways, uh, let's start with the first note, the E17. So, so down, down, up. So when we get to the B string here, 17, 15, 13, so I'm gonna do up on the 17. And what I also do here, I'll do uh, pull off on the 15. Pick up, pull off, pick up on the 13, so. Now you could pick all the notes if you want to, up, down, up, like this. You know, as long as it sounds smooth, you could do that, but I tend to like to do this pull off here uh, personally, and also here in the original rec recording that there's a, like a slight little accent here. So I think it's uh, easily done if you do uh, pull offs here. So. Like that, you know, instead of playing like all the, like picking all the notes. It's a, it's kind of up to you, but I feel like this pull off thing is better. So here we got down up, down up, down up. The last bend. Make sure you do a little vibrato at the end. Yeah, so. Alright, so again on the right hand. Down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So if you do that, then that's great. Then you could put it all together. So let me play the whole solo uh, very slowly. All right. So here we go. So something like that. All right, a little bit faster. Alright, so that was the end of my guitar tutorial video of Moratorium by Bandmade. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I uh, hope it was helpful to you. If so, please hit the like button to support the channel. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to JRO Guitar Lab for more guitar tutorial videos. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next video. Ciao!
、えー、また次回のビデオでお会いしましょう。じゃあまたね。